Okay, so here it is, uh, 11.45 at night, uh, Thursday night, January 15th, let's see, what is it? Uh, I can't make out the date. Let's see what that is. Yeah, January the 13th. There we go. Anyway, this is a screen capture. This is using SDR console. And I'm using the RSP DX software defined receiver. And I'm just going to show you a quick demonstration. What we want to do is keep an eye on some of these signals. I'm going to try three different antennas just to illustrate that here on VLF the differences are not as pronounced as you may think. Uh, one antenna will be the best out of all of them but for these are the regular strong stations that you can get all the time here in the Midwest. Um, over here we can just see in the waterfall we have just traces of the station from uh, Turkey. This is TBB and that's really good DX for me. This is a very hard station for me to get is TBB. Here we have Powerhouse Station from North Dakota. This is uh, U.S. military and it just booms in here. Over here we have uh, NLK. That's from uh, Washington State. Here we have NAA from Cutler, Maine. Here we have DHO from Germany. You can see starting to get uh, pretty uh, pretty strong. Uh, this is a a birdie. Ignore it. Here we have uh, HWU out of uh, France. That's French uh, military base. Here we have a slight trace of a signal from uh, the UK. This is a, a, a GBZ. That's from the UK. You can just see a light trace there. And then, of course, we have uh, HWU from from France. Strong signal. A big powerhouse, of course, is NPM coming from Hawaii and that's just blasting in all the time and let me lighten this up just a little bit Let's see if there's anything you can just make out some very very faint traces of these other signals from France uh, Italy here we have the station from Australia NWC this is the US military base Western Australia and that's really good DX and on the very very left you can see we have a GQD coming from the United Kingdom as well so just keep an eye on I'm gonna pan out a little bit and I just wanna switch between three antennas to show you what happens you keep an eye on the waterfall and the strength of these traces as I switch. This antenna that I'm on currently right now, this is a 40 meter uh, vertical antenna. It's a quarter wavelength. It's elevated. The feed point is at about six feet off the ground and it has eight elevated quarter wave radials. So no uh, additional matching was performed to get it to operate 
more effectively here on VLF. So this is uh, this is the vertical antenna. So now I'm going to switch over to a 40 meter dipole. This is a rotatable dipole. It's at 70 feet. And I'm going to switch over to that right now. So watch the difference in the water trace. Okay, so there we go. So now I switched over to the dipole. You can see that the background has gotten a little bit darker. And it's, you know, it's hard to say whether signals got any better or worse than what they were with the vertical. Let me switch back over to the 40 meter vertical. There's the 40 meter vertical. So yeah, here, look at this, this uh, HWU, this signal from, from France is visible in the in the vertical but uh, not so much on the dipole so let's switch back to the dipole yeah look at that see isn't that interesting and we can see the signal here actually you know what these may be artificial these uh, now that I look at them they are not MSK signals. These were actually QRM. So this actually shows uh, the benefit the 40 meter dipole has over the vertical. Watch what happens when I switch back to the to the vertical. These signals here you can see have multiple There's actually multiple traces in there. It's not a continuous MSK signal. So this is actually interference, these single fine traces. And the signal from HWU here is not an MSK signal. This is actually QRM. So the vertical which is actually closest to my neighbors to my south looks like I may be picking up some QRM from the neighbors on the on the vertical but when I switch over to the dipole antenna notice they completely disappear so that's the benefits of having multiple antennas to choose from so now we're going to switch over to the third antenna and this is my antenna A there we go this antenna here is the 75 meter inverted V and notice how the noise floor got uh, even darker and it provides the most signal to noise for the true stations, the true signals that are there You'll notice these uh, traces, the waterfall traces, are more pronounced. They're easier to see on this antenna than they are, say, on the, on the vertical antenna or the dipole. Here on the end, for example, GQD out of the United Kingdom, this trace is slightly more pronounced. We have a nice MSK trace coming from the UK again here. The signal from France here is definitely pretty good. Australia is coming in nicely. And of course these powerhouse signals are are still very powerful. So let's quickly just switch through them again and you watch the peak of these signals kind of above the noise and then look at the trace themselves and I'll kind of drag my feet so that you can see the, the traces so here we go this is the 75 meter inverted V that we're currently on 
now we're on the 40 meter dipole this is the 40 meter dipole you can see the station from Turkey got a lot weaker the station from here in England got weaker so no, a noticeable drop and then let's go to the third antenna which is the 40 meter vertical and there's the vertical so about the same strength as the dipole for the real signals but yet we picked up some interference and this is some interference also here so the benefits of having different antennas to play with but as you can see not a huge difference in the actual sensitivity but the best antenna here is antenna A which is the 75 meter inverted V and it has apex uh, the feed point at about 70 feet it's full size and the wires run exactly north and south but that really doesn't matter uh, at this frequency since it's not uh, resonant, it's not tuned in any way. So anyway, just wanted to show you this comparison. Hope it is of uh, help. 73 from WABYA Echo November 70 near Fort Wayne, Indiana, USA.